Those in the food system value chain are calling for a review of the Seed and Plant Varieties Act to allow farmers share indigenous seeds. The Biodiversity and Biosafety Association of Kenya National Coordinator Anne Miner says minimal sharing of indigenous seeds has eliminated more nutritious food from the food systems and contributed to increased seed import bill. Miner wants the government to earmark budgetary allocation for indigenous seed banks. Our constitution is very clear that the indigenous and local varieties are recognized by the constitution. But when you go to the Seed Act, uh, you see that uh, the farmers are not recognized. And so the review is happening, but we ask that for in more inclusion of civil society and other key stakeholders. It is increasing that seed and uh, promoting them, making sure we are growing them in larger areas. Uh, that is now what we need to, to do more of and uh, develop that seed system for some of these uh, crops. Indigenous foods and seeds are critical, first of all, for our cultural, very important uh, for our culture. And uh, number two, they are also very important for nutrition and uh, health because uh, some of them, like the sorghums and the finger millets, have low glycemic index. They are good for diabetes. They are also good for the heart. The seed is owned by everybody. It is an open source seed. So we are uh, supposed to be allowed so that we can sell seeds and we get money. And now that the policy doesn't allow us to sell seeds, uh, we are getting it difficult for us because we cannot make money out of it. But the researchers are coming and taking our seeds and they are going and making their own seeds. So after that, you cannot call that seed your seed again.